Hey everyone! So I'm here today to film for you guys regarding a couple storylines right now in WWE. Um, Vinny is working right now and I'm home so I wanted to quickly throw up a video for you guys because I want to, you know, try to film at least one or two videos a week but the minimum would be one video. Um, and with, you know, Vinny and I's schedule is always conflicting, it's just best that if I do a topic video alone, no big deal, he'll always be in my reactions, so no worries there. I wanted to quickly say thank you guys for all of the subscribers that we've been getting the past couple weeks. We're so grateful. Our channel is growing really quickly, and I'm so blessed. Like, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so let's get into the topic. So this topic is obviously from the title, is Roman Reigns going to turn heel? Honestly, like, this is a tough topic because after last week, I, I was saying, I swore up and down, I was like, yeah, he's going to turn heel. It's going to be obvious. Now, I think it's not as obvious because clearly WWE is probably doing this intentionally to where they want to throw us off, you know? Like last week, when he came out and said, I'm not a good guy, I'm not a bad guy, I'm the guy, that was kind of a hint that, okay, he's a tweener right now, but he's going to go full-fledged heel soon. Um, last night, I don't know, it just didn't seem like he was going to turn heel yet. Um, I don't know, it, it just depends, because now with the Bullet Club debuting last night, um, Anderson and Gallows, they did attack the Usos, which is Roman's cousin. So I'm not really sure. I do think that there's more than meets the eye to their debut. I do think that they are going to get involved in the AJ Styles versus Roman match at Payback. Um, who they're going to side with is still up in the air. It could go either way. Um, I could completely see them siding with AJ and then Balor debuting as well. And, you know, them forming a four-man stable. Or I could see them siding with Reigns and then, you know, being full-fledged heels in a, you know, three-person stable. So it's really hard to say right now because there's still weeks of build till payback. So it's hard to say. The one thing that I am for sure of is the inconsistent booking is really starting to make my head hurt, you know? Um... Shane McMahon, again, running Raw last night. I'm immune to it at this point. I'm just expecting him to keep running Raw for a while. Um, but it totally shits on Undertaker's win at Mania. Um, you know, furthermore, not, not only Undertaker, but Lesnar Ambrose. What happened with that? Ambrose lost and now he's all just feuding with Jericho out of the blue. Like, it's just so random, you know? It's like we're supposed to almost, it's like we're supposed to be in a coma and we're supposed to forget about WrestleMania 32. For whatever reason, I don't know why, maybe it's because it's the new season now and we're just supposed to forget about that chapter, but to me it's just like how do you just turn on and turn off like that so quickly, you know? It just doesn't really make that much sense to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I do like that they are trying to revitalize the tag division in WWE, you know, with Enzo and Cass and the VOD villains and, um, the vignettes with Primo and Epico and, you know, people like that. I think that's really good. Um, there's a lot of, you know, new fresh blood now in the main roster, so We'll see. We'll definitely see what happens with that. Um, I really don't know what the hell they're going to be doing with Kalisto. He might have a collarbone injury, so I don't know if he's going to be stripped of the U.S. title. But all I know is that they need to do something with that title because, you know, Cena had these epic, you know, four-star matches on Raw pretty much every week last summer. So to just, like, it's just like spitting in Cena's face. He really tried so hard to make that belt worthy and, you know, mean something. And for them to not even defend it is just mind-boggling to me. It baffles me, really. Um, yeah, Charlotte, Natalia. it's what I expected, you know. Um, it's definitely furthering their feud for payback. Um, yeah, I just want Charlotte to win that, actually. 
because I really do want Sasha to face Charlotte and for Charlotte to drop the title to Sasha at um, SummerSlam in Brooklyn, which I'll be going to, so it, you know, it's even more special for me and for that reason. Um, yeah, with Cesaro coming back, I'm stoked. I love Cesaro, but I love Owens that much more. So that was a fun match last night, Owens-Cesaro. Um, what else? AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, definitely match of the year contender. Um, if you guys watch anything from Raw, definitely watch that match. It was so good. In conclusion, I really would like to see Roman Reigns go heel. I like the direction they're going in. Hopefully, Vince is brave enough to pull that trigger with Roman. Because, let's face it, Roman Reigns is a natural heel. Um, it is a lot easier to be a heel than it is to be a face. Um, so we'll see. I definitely think that they should put him as a heel. Um, and in this day and age, though, who gives a fuck, right? Who's a heel, who's a face? Because really, a lot of the heels get cheered. Perfect example, Kevin Owens, you know? So we'll just see what happens. And I'm definitely excited with this new season of wrestling. It's been pretty solid. I would definitely give this Raw about an 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, hopefully Payback's going to be good. It'll be in a few weeks. Obviously, I'll be reacting to that. Um, just, you know, keep subscribing for more videos, you guys, because I want to film a lot more videos for you guys. Definitely leave your recommendations in the comment box down below what you want to see next. And yeah, I'll be back soon. So I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. Bye.